What is going on guys, Dusty here, bringing back another video, we're playing some Minecraft, actually on the PC version, and as you can see, I went on a win a server, I don't, I forgot what the name of the server was, but I'll definitely post it in the link down below, so I was playing PC version, we're actually playing a little bit of Hunger Games, and I know a lot of you guys are a huge fan of Hunger Games, so I was definitely, you know, I might give it a try, so, as you can see, I'm going through the portal, and it may be a little bit lag in the beginning, because for some reason, when joining the Hunger Games portal in the beginning, it's really laggy at first and really shitty, but it was able to figure itself out. Like I said, I'm using my laptop when it comes to playing Minecraft. For some reason, I did not hook it up, or I didn't hook up my desktop. And um, other than that, you guys, it's, it, it's, it's kind of laggy at first, but then it kind of figures out. So I'm playing Hunger Games, you guys. I played Hunger Games, I believe, once in my lifetime. Not including this one. This is going to be my second time playing. And let me tell you, this shit's hard as hell. It really is. I literally, it, I just fucking suck basically I, I just can't do it anymore but it's fun let me I'm not gonna lie I did have a I did enjoy playing it I had a great time playing it I will play it again definitely will do it again I will definitely play it off camera so I'm able to understand the game so as you can see we're waiting for the game to start and for some reason the sponsors behind us and everyone beats me to the fucking chest and I'm like well fuck what am I supposed to do you know I check all these chests nothing there and I know we have a minute of inst in invincibility left so I can't get killed within that one minute span so I'm looking through all the chests and I'm like what the hell there's nothing here like they literally took everything as for the second game, I was lucky enough to get a freaking get something, but not much. So as you can see, I'm running. And my game plan for Hunger Games is to run as far as I can, get as far as away from people, and then build. As you can see, I'm trying to get some wood so I'm able to make a crafting table when I get far away. Maybe make a wooden sword. I know it's not the best defense, but it's, it's the only options I have, you know. So my plan is to get as far as away from the middle. So I'm trying to go to the edge of the world, try to get away, try to make sure no one's following me. But my only issue was when I was getting away, there was a lot of people around me still. So I end up, let's see, I end up walking up here. That's right. I remember walking up here trying to look around, trying to find any chests because I know in Hunger Games, Hunger Games, there's always chests like hidden around somewhere. So I'm, I'm you know, I'm trying to find out where it's at. So. This was my main issue when it came to playing the whole Hunger Games thing, was just trying to find. And I played two rounds. I played this round, and I tried it one more time. I was going to go three times, but I just got so pissed off, and I just ended up raging off Minecraft. So I, I did record this earlier, and this is not live. But, you know, I want to do a play-by-play -play commentary and just let you know how it went. So I have a compass, and I know I have no idea how the fucking compass works. You know, I don't really use it. Like I said, I don't play Minecraft, but I do now. And I do play Minecraft, but I don't. I play it casually. Like I build a house, and that's it, you know. So I'm trying to find a way. And there's a guy right here, and I know there's 20 seconds left for invincibility to wear off. So my game plan was to chase this guy and hunt him down, and then kill him. And all right, like all right, I got to kill. You know, maybe he might have some kind of inventory. I know he doesn't have a sword or any kind of weapons because he would have had it out by now. But this motherfucker decides to jump off a cliff, and I'm not gonna chase after him. Like no. It's not working. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to move on here. And there was people here too. And I'm like, Angel Love, 22. And there's some other random. And I'm looking at them. And they're looking at me. And, I'll and I just start hitting this guy. And then I got completely gangbanged. Like an episode of Pornhub or something there. I just got completely destroyed. That chick should have died because I hit her so many damn times. And this is where I started lagging pretty bad for me. Like it was just going really slow where I wasn't able to hit her. And then I died. And that was my first game of Hunger Games in like a year. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to do another one, but I want to find a server that's a lot smaller because that server was just too damn big. So I want to do anywhere between seven to eight, maybe five to six people per server because that one had like 25 people and I was just, I just got shit on so quickly as you can see. People already making alliances and I was going in team solo as you know how I do it. Team solo 24, 24, 24, second. And here it is. So with this game, I was actually able to get some kind of stuff from the chest. You know, I was able to um, and I thought if I stand on the chest, you know, when the timer goes down, I probably will be able to get what's in the chest. What I didn't know was when the timer goes down, it actually puts you back away from that spawn, where you all have to run at the same time to get the um, the chest. 
So I don't know how I got so lucky that I got one. I guess the other people knew where the weapons would be because mine had no weapons. Mine had just had like some, like bread and shit like that. Not nothing really. And as you can see, I'm sitting here trying to advertise. It's, it's, this this is the norm. You gotta do it. Advertising my stuff. I have to. I have to. But um, other than that, I was able to get some things. I I did die. I just don't. Oh. It was crazy. This is the one where, okay, you're going to have to chase. So, like I said, everyone's running towards the chest, and I'm trying to find a chest. I'm like, all right, you know what? There's probably nothing going to be here. And, like, there's only one chest here. I'm going to try it out, and I, I found a fucking arrow. Like, I'm going to do so much damage with arrow. Golden apple, a splash of health, and watermelon. And I said, okay, I'm dipping. I'm just going to leave. And I'm going to do the same gameplay like I did for the last game. I'm just going to run as far as I can, get as far away from this, and hopefully I will be able to get away and maybe make some kind of refuge. I, I should have dug underground. I should have dug underground and then worked from then on. If I would have, I, I just don't know if there's bedrock directly underground. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I'm thinking of all these game plans now that I'm not playing. But I should have done it then. I mean, how clever would have been just to dig underground and then work from there, build yourself up, maybe uh, get a couple pieces of wood, you know, make a wooden axe, and then go down and just start smelting because then you have all the armor you can ever need. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm thinking. Now I, I want to do it, but whatever. Or whatever. whatever. So I'm running, I'm trying to get as far as away as I can, and my biggest thing is obviously trying to get as far away like I talked about, and trying to find other chests. I know there's a lot of random chests scattered around when it comes to Hunger Games, so that's that's my biggest thing. So I see a big old wooden bridge, not bridge, a big old cold cobblestone bridge, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to cross this. And I'm sitting here, I don't know why I sat here typing on the chat, it was just pointless, it really... It really did give me the DND end because I should have used that time to freaking at least find some shit or do something. But no, I want to sit there and make friends and chat because it's so not normal. <laughs> so I'm coming up this cobblestone bridge, cobblestone bridge, and like I said, it's a fucked up bridge. I don't know who the fuck made this. And um, yeah, it's fucked up basically. It's half messed up. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm gonna try to jump this. I can do it. I think I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? And I don't make it. I hit for water and yeah. So my ass thinking I could climb up this vine vine ladder and you know, knowing me being so bad at Minecraft, I can't do it. And either can that guy. So I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna swim away from this guy. And in the end that guy beat you know, bites me in the ass. And you can see people are already getting slain, people are getting slain like crazy. That Elliot guy who's in who just slain that Rad Red Redman? Red Redeeman? Redeeman, one, two, three, four, one it says the kind of alliance, but you know, I'm team solo, but I'm like, I just can't do it. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, maybe there's a chest around here, and why am, why am I typing? And um, I'm trying to look for some kind of chest around here because usually there's chests in the most obvious places when it comes to either in the bottom of the water, bottom of the ocean, bottom of certain lakes, maybe in the top of trees. So I'm looking around here, I'm like, okay, this place looks kind of suspicious. Why would there be random cobblestone places? There has to be, there has to be some kind of thing here. So I'm sitting here thinking, what is this? I wonder what this, you know, this. This cobblestone plate does. I sat on it. I'm like, you know, nothing's happening. What's happening? And I'm like, what's going on? And then there's fucking TNT under. It was a TNT trap. And this dumbass right here decided if I stand on it, I bet you nothing happens. Nothing happened for the first five seconds until everything decided to go to shit and explode. And this guy taking advantage of me acting like a dumbass decides to kill me for no freaking reason. And I'm like, God damn it. He literally killed me. But, and you guys, that's the end of my Hunger Games. And this was my play-by-play -play commentary of how it went, and it did not go well at all. Not at all. As you can see, I just got home from school, and I decided to bring you guys a really good video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, because I will definitely bring back more, because I actually enjoyed the whole Hunger Games. And I'll say thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. This is Destitute. You guys have a great day. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, do what you got to do. I appreciate it so much, and you guys have a great day.